Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we want to talk about the types of blotting techniques that are available. And the problem with the blotting technique is that there are plenty of blotting techniques. Generally, we talk about southern blotting, northern blotting and western blotting. But apart from that, there are other types of blotting technique. And as per the blotting technique rules, blotting is a technique or a process of identifying important macromolecules or target molecule of our choice from a mixture or lysate of biological specimen or sample. So here I'm going to talk about all the different variants of blotting that are available and what we want to detect with the help of those blotting techniques and what is the probe used to find out the particular sample of choice. So let's begin. The first one we are going to talk about is northern blotting. So as per the symbol of uh, blot direction, it's in the north side, so northern blotting. There is nothing uh, significant about this direction, but I put the picture so that you can remember that. The target molecule that we want to detect with northern blotting is RNA and the probe used is single stranded DNA. The second type is eastern blotting. Eastern blotting is there to detect protein modifications, not exactly proteins, but protein modifications. And that is detected with the help of antibody. The third kind is southern blotting. And it's the very common one, the old one, which is obsolete these days. Southern blotting used to detect the presence of DNA utilizing single-stranded DNA as a probe, radioactive single-stranded DNA as a probe. Then comes the fourth one, southwestern blotting. Southwestern blotting, look at the direction. Southwestern blotting is used to find out DNA binding proteins. And the probe we use to find DNA binding proteins using southwestern blotting is single-stranded DNA. Again, a radioactive, radio level, or it can be any fluorescent dye labeled. Another one is western blotting, the very common one, there to detect the presence of proteins, any, any of the protein kind, okay? And uh, we use antibodies, primary and secondary antibody as a probe to detect protein using western blotting technique. Then comes the far western blotting technique. Far western blotting technique is used to detect protein-protein interaction, protein binding proteins actually. It's not exactly the interaction, but uh, the protein which can bind with other protein can be found out utilizing far western blotting technique, how the proteins interact. We can get a very slight idea about that as well. And we use other proteins, accessory proteins as a probe. The final one, the last one is uh, north, uh, the last to last one, northwestern blotting. And this is there to detect the RNA binding proteins. And here we use single stranded uh, RNA. Obviously RNA are single stranded. So use RNA as a probe uh, to detect the RNA binding proteins in the northwestern blotting technique. The final one and the last one is a reverse western blotting technique. Uh, so you can see the arrow is reversed here. Reverse western blotting technique which is used to detect the presence of DNA utilizing RNA as a probe. Why we call it reverse western blot? Uh, because we are using a reverse idea of detecting the DNA utilizing a single-stranded RNA. Usually the DNA is detected with the help of single-stranded DNA in southern blotting, but this is the totally different case. So these are the list of all types of blotting techniques that are available right now and we use the different blotting techniques to detect different uh, specimen, different target uh, protein target components or RNA or DNA associates. That's all about the blotting techniques. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that. And we also have made new videos regarding southern blotting, western blotting and the, the northern blotting techniques, which you can find in our YouTube channel. So that's it. Thank you, everyone. Bye.